Hey guys, so I've been getting a, a lot of questions about pin curls. Okay, so I finished the top of my hair. Um, I did it um, just like a video um, I've already done. But now I just want to show you the a variation to that hairstyle, um, including hairpins in the front. Um, the only thing I did differently than I did in the other video that I did about this hairstyle is that I didn't bring any of the rolls up to the front on top of this area. Um, I just left them back there because I'm going to cover up some of that with some of the rolls that I'm going to do from this right here. So I um, just took this middle section. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, by the way, this um, because I've already curled my hair and um, it's already been several days and there's a lot of hairspray in my hair and whenever I was doing the back of it I didn't use any hairspray um, while I was um, smoothing the curls to roll them up I didn't use any hairspray, I just used water and it kind of reactivated the hairspray that I'd used before and it's cool because it worked okay so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to use several pin curls in this. So I'm going to take, let me see, this section right here. Um, my water is running now and I'm getting this section wet and I'm not rolling from the bottom. I'm going to use these, um, well I've been using three fingers because I like the bigger rolls. I'm going to use these three fingers kind of put it behind and roll it around my fingers. Kind of hold the end piece, if there's any end piece there with my thumb. Arrange it where I want it to sit. And I'm going to use a little bobby pin to hold that in place. And it's, I'm not going to um, put the pin over the entire edge of the roll. I'm only going to do like three quarters of it. If you can see it or not. So that I still have um, hair showing. So that it cut, my goal is to hide the pin so that, that you don't see the pins as much. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. I will redo it um, if you can see it. And it does take some practice knowing um, a little messed up. Oh. Knowing exactly where to put the pins. Um, I mean, really, it's just practice. But there you go. There's one pin curl. Um, these back ones. Let me see what I'm going to do with this one. There's another piece of hair right here. It's not really thin. I mean, it is, but not really. I don't know. And I'm going to roll this one as well. Same same way I did this one right here, these three fingers in front of it, and I'm going to roll around. I think, um, though, I'm going to put this one, yeah, I don't think I'm going to cover this with anything, actually. I'm just going to kind of roll these. Um, and one thing I forgot to mention is that I do use um, bigger, the bigger bobby pins. Um, there are two sizes. I'll show you in a second when my finger's free. I'm using this large one to secure this one. Not because um, it's a big roll and it needs something to hold it really firm, but because I want it to be able to stick out. I want the roll to be able to like, stick out this far, like not up against the roll. Um, let me show you. So that this pin... I have a, um, a big bobby pin and a small bobby pin here. And I used um, the big one um, for this one right here. So it would, um, the pin would not only um, hold it right here at the base, but it would go all the way back um, and secure to the ponytail end and hold it in place from there. Gives me a little bit more security. So I'm going to spray what I have right now. So I'm going to hairspray. I'm going to use my fingers to kind of go inside the roll and kind of just swirl inside there and smooth it. So I have a smooth roll now. And the second back roll. 
I wanted to be a little bit thicker. Oops, still not thick enough. All right, the second back roll, same way. And really, uh, at this point, it's just up to your discretion where you want the rolls to sit, arranging them however you like. Um, I do like mine to stand kind of tall. Um, I'm going to use a little bobby pin here in this roll because I'm just securing it to the base of my head. Oops. There we go. Kind of pulling it out a little bit. And I'm going to do this one right here. And sometimes these front ones are a little bit tricky. Um, all right. So, I like to make sure that it's, they're like evenly parted. There's like an even split because you will be able to see the split after it's all fixed. So I want like an even split right there. I'm going to leave it a little bit jagged. Um, I don't do them like perfectly, like perfect little spaces. That looks a little silly. Um, I would do want them to be a little bit, um, I don't know, crazy. And I do have um, silver hair. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not, but I do. There's several of them. I usually find a new one every couple of days. So this front one, I'm going to kind of pull over to the side a little bit right here. I'm going to make it a little bit, give it a, a sort of bump right here. And on these little guys, um, I'm using little pins. So, I'm going to put it in place. Not catching all of the hair, catching everything but like the top layer. So it hides the pin a little bit better. And I'm not going to use another pin at this point unless later on when I'm doing the rest of my hair it starts falling out. I might add pins there, but at this point it looks pretty secure. So I'm going to do this next roll. A little bit of water, smooth it out. And three fingers. Sometimes in the front rolls, I might only use two fingers. Um, because they are the front rolls, the front rolls are a little bit smaller than the back ones. Let's see. Put this one in the front. The, this one right here, um, not this one, this one that comes from the part right here usually takes two pins. And I'll show you where I put the second one. I put one right here at the base. Then I usually always put a pin right about right there. You see how like it's starting to like fall out right there? I always put a, I always end up putting a second one there if it's right in the beginning or later on. It's a little bit tricky, but um the the roll coming out of like the base, I don't know if you can see it or not, I'm going to pin it to it. Right on the side. And it feels a little bit funny because it's not really attached to anything back here, um, but it will stay. And I'm going to separate these because I want to put another roll right here, but then I want to put another one back here. See how there's a little bit of space there? That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do this back one first. Change that up a little bit in a minute. But, okay, now for this one. Wrap around these three fingers. And whenever I wrap it around, just before I pull, um, start 
rolling it down this finger, I kind of do that a little bit so that the, um, the hair that I've rolled up to this point kind of goes underneath this part. So and I just move and over it with my fingers. And it's not going to be like straight this way or straight this way. Um, I'm going to kind of zigzag it jagged this way. So it gives it a little bit of dimension and variety. And there we go. I'm going to change this one up a little bit because I don't like how it's sticking forward and I have too much space. I'm going to move this pin over here. You just never know. I mean, sometimes it takes trial and error, knowing where to put the pins and whatnot. And because um, I've got this extra hairspray in my hair left over that's helping me out, I really am sort of molding these curls. Um, it almost has like um, a mousse or a gel-like effect after the water activates the hairspray. So I'm going to spray um, this roll over here and kind of mold it with my fingers. Kind of make it do what I want to do. But there you go. And see how what I was talking about earlier, I'm um, on the sides. Um, you really can't tell that my hair is really dirty, um, but what it does is help me um, have a little more of a slicker effect. If that's what you not not if that's not what you like, don't worry about it. Um, but I do like the really slick sides um, added to this up here. It kind of gives a makes it a little more dramatic. Um, but that is pretty much it. If you have any more questions, um, let me know and I'll try to explain it a little better in the next video if you need me to. But that's pretty much how I do um, my pink rolls, whether they're big or small. Um, I do them a little bit different every time. They usually end up a little bit different. Um, but that's about all for this video. And there's the back. And I'll see you guys next time.